Hi Pre-K2, I'm going to show you how to do spring tulips for a picture. All you need is a paper, and pencil, eraser, and something to color with, okay? So on your paper you need, in the middle of your paper, you need to do one swirl. On each side of your swirl, you're going to do one more swirl. Now you have three swirls. They're not perfect, they're just swirls. Underneath each swirl, you're going to add the letter U. Okay, so we have three tulips. Now I'm going to add a stem to each tulip. It's not just a straight line. One line would not be enough for a stem. You need to add a second line next to the line you just put. This would be called a parallel line. When you have two lines going in the same direction, it's called a parallel line. And notice how I went to the bottom of my page. I didn't stop in the middle of my page, all right? Okay, so I have three tulips with three stems. What else can we add to these tulips? What would flowers have in general? They would have leaves, right? So you can add leaves however way you know how. Maybe one or two on each one. And where do tulips usually grow? From the ground, correct? So maybe we'd have some long leaves in between our leaves. I mean long grass or leaves depending on how you look at it. So I'm just adding, what I'm doing now is I'm adding texture. Okay. We could also add some details of the sky up to you. Maybe some clouds. What I did to make that cloud, in case you're wondering, is I just did the letter C all the way around. So C, 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 easy. Maybe some birds. And there we go, we have our drawing. So now we need to color. I'm gonna pause it, color it, and then you'll see the complete finished product. All right, pre-K two, so this is my finished picture. Notice how I left the clouds white, or you could even maybe get like a light blue and add a little bit, very lightly, texture if you want, just to give it some, some color. You don't have to. We'll learn more about that when you're a little older. And in my tulips, I use two different shades of pink just to give it a little more detail, but you can do it any way you want, all right? But notice how I didn't leave much white in my picture besides for the cloud. A lot of kids end up drawing the sky here and then they stop, but the sky keeps going until it touches ground, whether it's mountain, water, grass, whatever it is. You don't see an empty part from sky to ground, okay, that it's just white. So notice that, and I hope you have fun. See you soon.